Welcome or welcome back, Tiny Help at C-Squared. In this uh, video clip, I'm gonna show you, I will show you how to use GeoGebra for uh, finding the minimum, maximum, and the roots of a polynomial function. And you notice here on your browser, you type geogebra.org, and the app, the uh, application I will use today is this graphing calculator. You click on that and you get a, a page like this. You may see a keyboard. If you do not see the keyboard, the keyboard is down here. But for this example, I'm not going to need this uh, keyboard. I just simply uh, type in this equation you see here and you type it in in this mode 2x. You use the uh, sign on your keyboard uh, on top of the number 6, x to the third power minus 12x squared. The same way, you're going to put x squared minus 192x plus 4 and um, you're gonna get to what you see there just click enter and the uh, app will name the function f of x you get this picture here um, but on the other hand you'll be very helpful if you remember this is a cubic so it should uh, looks like that because the leading coefficient is positive and like i said it's a cubic an odd degree so left down right up as you notice the picture doesn't look like that. We're going to have to zoom out. For that reason, you can use this minus here and zoom out until you get something that maybe will tell you something like this one. Here, I kind of see this behavior. If you notice, this point here is looking like it turns back on. Okay, but that tells me the X window, the X uh, range is too large. So I'm going to adjust that window the x at least by using this button the settings button how it's called and you see when once you click here uh, you have again settings here click on that and you get this uh, window where you can adjust based on what you think that will work uh, for you i use negative 10 to 10 so you simply type uh, negative 10 to 10 you exit out by using this X and that's the picture which start looking like uh, what I mentioned at the beginning I'm gonna, again I'm gonna use the settings and I'm gonna keep adjusting until I get what I need and I think this is the best window and you see it's from negative 10 to 20 for the X uh, and from negative 100 one ne negative 1500 to uh, 800 for the uh, y value and now we can see that nice behavior left down right up now i'm going to move to the first thing which is finding the roots the zeros of this polynomial function which are these this one the x intercept also how are we going to do that you notice we have this icon here tools and then you can click on this um, basic tool which says roots you're going to click on it you get this message select a function so you're going to select your function this one you can click anywhere on this function and then GeoGebra is going to show you these three points a b and c which are the intercepts the roots um, or the zero of the function if you want to see uh, the values of these points, the x and y coordinates, obviously the y coordinate is zero. You want to click on this algebra and you'll see um, the first x intercept is at negative 7.233. The second x intercept b is at negative 0 0.02, and the last one c at 13.254. Similar, uh, we're going to move to the next uh, thing to find the minimum and the maximum. And you notice this is the maximum and this is the minimum. How are we going to find, find the values using GeoGebra? Again, the tools. Then you're going to click this extremum, how they call it. Minimum and maxima are extrema for this uh, function, relative extrema. And once you click on that, you get the same message. You click anywhere on your function, anywhere, not necessarily on the minimum or relative minimum or relative maximum, and you get them like here. So 
A is the relative maxima, B is the relative minimum. If you want to see values again, you click on this algebra and you see uh, that we have a minimum at negative 4. I'm sorry, that is a maximum, a relative maximum, negative 4. That relative maximum is 444. That is the Y value. Uh, very similar, we have a critical point or a relative minimum at x equals 8 and that value is negative 1284 the first one is x the second one is y or the value of the function also here you can see the interval on which the function is increasing so this is one moment when the function is increasing this is the second moment so uh, we have here negative infinity to negative 4 the first interval the second interval will be 8 infinity and yeah, I'm going to put this u here which, which means union on these two intervals the function is increasing similar we can see on this picture where the function is decreasing and that happens right here function is going down from left to right and that starts from negative 4 to 8 the function is decreasing if you have more than one interval use again the union sign decreasing and you can use this technique of uh, not only polynomial function not only cubics you can use it for quadratics you can use it for any other function you want to work with exponential logarithmic function trigonometric function and so on if you enjoy this work don't forget to click the like button and come back on c square for more help Thank you.